Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home. We'll talk about Buddha. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home. Assalamualaikum and a very warm welcome to Viewers Pulse. I'm your host, Rafi Abdul Malik. Now, I know you're used to Malik hosting the show, but he's taking a vacation. He'll be back very shortly. I want to remind you, you can give us a call right now on 0020 238 5248 or 249. You can find us on Facebook, so why not post a Facebook comment? You can actually Skype us at Huda underscore dot TV. Now, I'm so excited to be here, and you know, I'm privileged to work on Huda TV. Tonight, I want to talk about organising ourselves in Ramadan. And I don't mean by organising TV, what we're going to eat, and you know, I must do my sports, exercise, things like this. No. It's all about what we can do to get closer to Allah. What I want to say, dear brothers and sisters in Islam, that when Ramadan comes, this holy month, we want to organise ourselves. We want to prepare ourselves for Ramadan. I want to start by saying, you know, let's share the reward. If there's people out there that you know are unfortunate, bring them closer. Bring them closer to you. Give them something to work on. Do you have plans? Why not give me a call and tell me your plans? My plan definitely in Ramadan is to get close to Allah. I, I've been thinking over the last say three months, what can I do? What, what can I do to get myself closer and organise my time? So I thought, okay, I, I want to recite some of the Quran. I want to learn Arabic. I, it, it's a must for me as a Muslim to learn Arabic and you know, fulfil my duties. If you know somebody in the community that's less fortunate, why not go to them? Go to the mosque. Dear sisters, you can actually cook an extra pot of rice for people out there. It's not, it's not going to benefit anybody apart from you. You take the reward. You, you take that reward for feeding somebody. I want to say, you know, make habit about visiting mosques. Don't just think, oh, I'll pray here, I'll do this. I, I want to pray Tari prayer. Why not invite the children? Remember, you know, something, dear viewers, I'm a revert to Islam, as we all know right now. And before Christmas, we're celebrating Christmas and doing these things. I don't want Ramadan, I don't want this month to become just something like a steric event that we have cake and we have things and celebrate. No. This month is so holy for everybody, so we must organise our time. Don't just get up in the morning and think, OK, I can fast now, I'm going to do this, let me just do this now, I'm going to eat later. No. Get the Qur'an. If there's somebody out there that doesn't know the Qur'an, it's your duty as a Muslim, dear brothers and sisters, it's your duty as a Muslim to enlighten people who can't read. There's many people out here, many people out here that cannot read. Go to them. Go to them and say, this is the Qur'an. Do you know your Qur'an? Do you know your Lord? Do you know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is? Give somebody a chance this Ramadan. If you know somebody that's a good person and is showing signs of submitting to one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, go to them. Give them more information gently. Give them what we have. Brothers and sisters, we have Islam. We have the best thing. So we, I believe we have a telephone call. Assalamu alaikum, Yusuf. Uh, alaikum salam. alaikum, Yusuf. How are you? Where are you calling from, Yusuf? Uh, I, I, I'm uh, from Morocco. Morocco. How's uh, everything there? Uh, I, I, I'd like to thank you about uh, this program and uh, all your uh, programs in in Huda uh, TV. Excellent. And uh, I'd like to 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 give just some some ideas about uh, how or what what to do in uh, for in, sure uh, in, uh, in Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Sure. Go so, ahead, Yusuf. Uh, uh, 
I, I think that, uh, as you know, Ramadan is, is the month of, of Quran. Mm -hmm. So I, w I would like to remember uh, my, my brother and sisters to, uh, to, to take care more, to take care more the, about, uh, about uh, reading and, uh, and, uh, and memorizing, memorizing the, the, the Quran uh, in groups because uh, uh, in groups we can we can uh, we can work uh, more efficiently and uh, we can uh, encourage uh, each other inshallah so, uh, i i uh, i suggest to to definitely yusuf i believe what to, you're trying to say to us yusuf is bring to together in a group rise every every two years uh, a few uh, for sure that's great yusuf thank you so much for calling sorry? and inshallah god reward you inshallah Thank you so much and have a happy Eid. So, you know, dear brothers and sisters, I'm talking about tonight Ramadan and the importance. And Yusuf from Morocco has just told us, you know, recite the Quran in groups. It's, it's most important that you actually give people a chance to recite the Quran together in groups. It's excellent. If you have something going on in your area that you want people to know about, why not give me a call right now and tell us? We can actually tell people for you. Why this month is to bring people together. This month is organising everything. Just imagine the reward, what we're going to get, inshallah. Only God knows best, but what reward we will have. Just think what you can do for another person. Remember, Islam is gentle. Islam is the true religion. We want to give people a great chance. And this holy month brings everybody together. I want to say also, dear brothers and sisters... Why not give people a chance to, you know, gain the reward? If you have somebody that you know that's willing to help, let them help. Let them do something. Bring the community together. Stop the arguments. Stop the backbiting. Stop all those. Think, stop and think. We want you to ha pause and think, right, this is the month I need to change. What's going on in my life? This life is nothing but a test. I've mentioned it before. This life is nothing but a test. So stop and think clear. What can we do? How can I organise my time? I am going to recite the Holy Quran this month. I'm going to make five um, surahs a night or, you know, something like this issue. Certainly myself, it's, it's quite difficult. You know, I'm married to an Egyptian, so, you know, I can try to read in Arabic, but it's very difficult the reward just by reciting the Quran is, is tenfold, is, you know, subhanAllah, it's, it's magnificent. The only thing each day that keeps me, you know, happy is praying. When my head, when this part of my head is on the ground, this is the best. This is the ultimate. There's no word in English, no word in Arabic that can describe how I feel when my head is on that ground, submitting to Allah and one God. So give somebody a chance this Ramadan. Are you going to help others? Because remember, everybody's helped me. Everybody has helped me, not only at Huda TV, we have great staff, behind the cameras, in front of the cameras, everywhere. Each Muslim has helped me to, to recite the Quran, to learn Arabic, to do all these things. You know, is there somebody in the community that needs help? That you think to himself, oh, everybody knows, but he hasn't got a family. Just imagine, you're celebrating Ramadan with your family. What about that person next door? What about that old neighbour, even if they are non-Muslims? It's our duty as a Muslim to be good to non-Muslims. Why, why not encourage to, to knock on a neighbour's door? And even if they are non-Muslim... Invite them into your home. Invite them. Show them what Islam is about. Show them. Be generous. Remember, generosity is nothing. Allah gave us something so magnificent on this earth. Why not give other people a chance on, on this earth to have what we have? So I want to now take some uh, look on some Facebook comments on the Facebook. A great one. I have, before I start, I have some Facebook comments saying that, you know, in Nigeria, the TV, they can't see Huda TV. I'm so sorry for that. Today I've actually mentioned that 
and inshallah we will get a new frequency so inshallah bear with us people in nigeria because i do know we have a lot of people in nigeria watching Huda tv so we are going right on that today and we're going to fix that in soon inshallah Let's take a Facebook comment from Abraham. He says, yes, I want, I want to say the importance of organising my time is very, very important to each Muslim. We have another one from Bashir who says, yes, organising our tasks in Ramadan is so important. My time in Ramadan, I'm going to recite the Qur'an. You know, this is, this is magnificent to hear that people are going to be reciting the Qur'an. It, it's nothing better to hear the Qur'an. It's so soothing. When you're, you're concentrating on the Qur'an, it's, it's very soothing to, to hear. Uh, SubhanAllah. We have a telephone call. Go ahead, caller. Abdullah, go ahead. How are you? Salaam alaikum, Abdullah. How are you? I'm very fine. Alhamdulillah. How are you doing? So go ahead and tell us about Ramadan. Yeah, I'm very excited about Ramadan, yeah. Great. So, brother, are you going to organize yourself? You Have you prepared yourself? <coughs> oh, well, I believe the call's caught. Do try give us a call back, Abdul Nasser. So, as I was saying, the importance of organizing the time. I want to ask you, dears and brothers and sisters, if you have a plan... If you can guide me, if you can guide anybody to organise their time, why not give me a call right now? The number is certainly 0020-238-555-248 or 249. So we're just going to take a quick break, so I hope you stay tuned. Give me a call after the break. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> that uh, you do not use it to uh, provoke your uh, what you call your system to produce more saliva it breaks your fast excessive bleeding excessive that bleeding. makes the person weak For during sure. fasting yes but the one who vomits deliberately the one who vomits deliberately he should uh, make it up this is one time of people one type of people who fast just because they don't want to be embarrassed. The main criteria is those who fast just uh, for any reason other than Allah. However, you are still violating the rules of Allah. You are still not doing what he asks of you. How can you then get back so your art is pure? Providing food, I noticed that some people are doing it uh, maybe in a way that makes it difficult for their family. If the old person is generally fit, let's say, and they would like to observe the fasting, however, they would become a little bit faint, could they not, you know, observe the fast a little bit? <laughs> Islamic Jeopardy. Audience, viewers, are you guys ready for another round of Islamic Jeopardy? All right, let's go ahead and begin. It's Islamic Jeopardy, the spirit of contributions for the sake of Allah. The exciting yet informative, it is Islamic Jeopardy. In the e Join us on Islamic Jeopardy, the quiz show featuring trivia in fiqh, aqidah, history, poetry, riddles, science, Arabic, and other topics this Ramadan. When you love... The awaited halal fun is finally here. Praise him every day. Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome back to Viewers Pulse. I'm your host, Rafi Abdul Malik. 
Now, I know you used to Malik, but he's on holiday right now or vacation if you're from America or speak American. Dear brothers and sisters, you know, I just want to remind you, first of all, by the phone number, which is 0020-238-555-248 or 249. Or you can certainly Skype us and you can do that by doing hoodie underscore dot, sorry, not dot, just TV. So why not give me a call? Tonight's show is all about organising your time in Ramadan. I don't mean by organising your TV or organising what food you're going to eat or organise what events. None of these are important. The importance of organising your time is, are you going to recite the Qur'an? Are you going to help unfortunate people? Is there somebody out there that you can help? You know, let's be extra generous. Let's go out there and find, you know, give. It's all about giving. If there's somebody out there that needs, give. Give them w what you have. And I don't mean by giving the people on the street a pound or, or, or whatever. Don't give them. You go out there and search for the genuine people that need your help. It's very easy for everybody just to go outside and give that person one pound or a sandwich. But how difficult is it to find a sincere person that needs our help? Brothers and sisters, there's too many people here, too many people around the world that need our help. The, the, the state of the world right now is in calamity. We need to be united. I want to say, you know, bring everybody together. Let's ensure that we mend the relations with family. If you have family and you, 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 these calamities with family, give them a chance. Be united. Be solid. Show the world that the, the Muslim Ummah is one. We have to show the world that we are united. Not fighting Forget all these issues, forget the calamities, we need to be united. We need to show everybody, you know, that the Muslim, Ummah, is perfect. So if there's calamities in your family, bring them together. Invite them, invite them to your home. Give them your food. Knock on that neighbour's door. Is there somebody that you know out there that needs your help? Dear brothers and sisters, you know, I'm urging you, not only as a Muslim, but as a person. Go out there, think, organise your time, not just get up, I'm going to get up at um, Fajr time, I'll pray Fajr, I'll go back to sleep, I'm going to do this, I'm then going to wait to eat food, then I'm going to drink as much as I can, then I may pray. No, stop. Think, what can I do? So, in the morning I'll wake up, I'll eat a light breakfast. This is a you know, memorization of the Qur'an, remembering Allah, giving submission to Allah. The month is not just about, I'm, I'm going to fast. No, it's about getting closer to Allah. The reward, tell me what the reward is, because you guys out there know. You guys out there know what the reward will be. And give, give, generosity don't be tight don't don't sit there if your heart is pure and sincere this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves Allah loves the pure Allah gives us do you know dear brothers and sisters again before I was a Muslim I was a, you know nothing bad nothing bad happened in my life but the the Christmas event was nothing but a big huge celebration I don't want this for Ramadan. I don't, it's not about what sweets we can eat, what, you know, desserts we can have. For, forget this. No. Remember, organise the time to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because tomorrow is the real life. Tomorrow is everything. What we do in this life is for tomorrow. I can't stress this enough. You know, I was talking in the office earlier with the brothers. What what can I do as a Muslim? What can I do as a Muslim revert to help others? What can I do? How can I help? And we have a very huge sincerity from every brother, not only in at my office, but 
in every department at Huda TV. We're a huge building. It's not just Huda TV. We have many people here. And we are, you know, waiting for the month of Ramadan to unite the Ummah. Think about the dear brothers and sisters in Syria, Palestine. Think about these. Keep them in your du'a. Give, give generosity. You know, I, I think to myself, what, what can I do? What can other people do? Remember, dear brothers and sisters. So, Musa Hassan, we have a telephone call. Go ahead. Salaam alaikum. Yeah, hi. Uh, alaikum salam. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Yourself? I'm, deli- I'm great. Thanks so much for asking. Go ahead. Yeah, great, great show, great program, by the way. Thank you so um, much. Uh, just, just a simple question. I, well, I don't know if it's simple, but a friend of mine, he lives in Norway. Yes. He, he lives in Norway, and he's asking me the question. Um, he, mm. fast, he says his fast times are from 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. until 10.30 p.m. Brother, I'd love to answer that question, but this is a specific question, maybe for Dr. Mohammed Salah, the beloved Sheikh and the resident Sheikh of um, Huda TV. I will take that question for you, and the brothers in the control room will take the contact details, and I will pass that question on to Dr. Mohammed Salah. That's fine, but do, do, do you understand the question, right? Like, can, can, he, can he follow any other timing rather than these long hours? Yes, brother. I, I'm saying I, I would love to answer that question, but this is a specific yeah. question to be answered by a shirk, Dr. Mohammed Salah. I'm going to pass your question on to him, and the brothers in the control room are going to take contact details, and I will definitely get that question answered for you by email. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome, and have a nice Eid. Well, that's a great question. That's definitely going to be answered by Dr. Mohammed Salah. I will get that answered. So, dear brothers and sisters, why not give me a call right now and tell me how you're going to organise your time. Tell me the rewards, the benefits of Ramadan. Give me all the information that you have. I want to hear from you right now. If you have something going on in your community that brings people together, that helps the community unite, why not tell me? Where are all these calls from the brothers and sisters? Give me a call right now and tell me. Very quickly, let's move on to some Facebook comments. So I have um, Hamed um, from, he's actually from Iraq. He's saying this time of Ramadan is to remind him and be repentant to Allah and ask for forgiveness from Allah. Excellent. You know, this, this reminds me we must we must stop and think and you know regret what we've done if there's any regrets that we've done in the year stop and think okay this is the time to to stop subhanallah so we have another telephone call from mohammed from the ksa go ahead mohammed oh i'm sorry oh mohammed uh, assalamu alaikum salam sister how are you oh mohammed Alhamdulillah, fine. Alhamdulillah. Allah, Ramadan Mubarak for you. Eid Mubarak. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead and tell us how you're going to organize your time. Yeah, I plan that after Fajr to sit there for uh, until the Duha time, by reading Quran. And whatever the, I memorize the surahs and the parts, I will be repeat. To memorize this in the night timing. Excellent. And inshallah, inshallah, I want to advise to all my brother and sisters as they are uh, reciting the Quran mm. and uh, doing the extra prayer. At the same time, they can use one thing that they can use the miswak. No. That's excellent, Um Muhammad. Miswak, so that they can have a great ajr before they pray. And before they're reading Quran, Definitely. so they are doing the reading Quran and uh, doing the extra prayer. Just they add the miswak to their uh, before they start reading and before they start going for prayer, so that it gives them a big ajur for them. So if you practice this, uh, if you practice this for this 30 days, inshallah, you will be going on the whole year. So you will get much much benefit with this because I came to know that. Using miswak, miswak has a hundred benefits. So my all my Muslim brothers and uh, sisters, Mashallah. I want to advise this Ramadan to make it a, a little benefit for them. So please use the miswak. 
Excellent. Thank you so much, Um Muhammad. That's an excellent comment. So please use this, Shawak, as Um Muhammad is saying. You know, it's excellent time. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for all your efforts. Subhanallah. So we're coming close to the end. Dear brothers and sisters, I want to take this time. I only have a few moments. I want to enlighten you, dear brothers and sisters. I urge you as a Muslim, and I'm very sincere, be united. Take this time right now to stop and think how you can organize your time and how you can help others. Remember, we are Muslims. We have the best thing on earth. We have everything. People may say we may not have, we may not have money. We may not have this. No, we have Islam. Give others this chance, brothers and sisters. This Ramadan, make a change in your community. Make that change. Today is the rest of your life. Make that change for others. Give that chance to others that, that we have. Because subhanAllah, the reward will be great, inshallah. That's all I have time for right now. I just want to say Eid Mubarak to everybody. And thanks very much for letting me host Viewers Pulse. Keep safe. And until next time, Malik will be with you. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. We'll talk about Huda. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Huda is the light in your home. We'll talk about Huda. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Huda is the light in your home.